Why LaMelo Ball is the future of the NBA. Because of LaMelo's height, it gives him an advantage over smaller guards. He's amazing at shooting from deep and he can do some amazing passes. And when you can shoot from deep, it allows guards to press on you. You can easily do a crossover and now you play a one on two on whoever's defending your, other, your offensive player and you can either pass or shoot. And LaMelo Ball right now to me, besides LeBron James, maybe Steph Curry, there's a couple players out there. He's one of the best because of his 6'5 height and because he's a point guard, it gives him the greatest advantage ever. Let's watch the first highlight. All right, LaMelo Ball comes in, does a crossover, goes up and under and finishes. Watch this. So now this is an amazing example right here where LaMelo Ball is in a crossover, beats his defender. And now the defender that's gonna have to guard him now goes up with one hand and when you go up with one hand the other defender the defender is already going to go up and defend you so you should know already in your head what you're going to do next and he switches Kratos under and has an open layup right there so it's not about playing it while it happens he already knows he's going to switch over so he puts it up and brings it right back down as the defender is putting his hand up so let's watch it again crosses over beats the defender goes up and under finishes off easily all right we're Lamelo. at the three-point line does a baseball pass and gets it right in there so he gets the pass He's reading the offense and he sees that it's an open lane defender and just throws it in there. All right, where's LaMelo? Grab the ball, look up, pass that. Boom. To be the best point guard you can ever be, you have to know to always look up whenever you grab the ball. Your first priority as a guard, I mean, for sure, is to defend the ball. Hold the ball, make sure you don't lose it. As soon as that's done, you look up to see who's open. As a point guard, you are the quarterback of the offensive basketball scheme. You pass, you're always passing. You're trying to get your receivers open so they can score a touchdown. So a translation to that is you're a shooting guard, anybody else grabbing the ball and shooting and scoring the bucket. So I'm gonna replay it right here. As soon as he gets the ball, looks right up to the court and he sees who's open and he just launches it because he's able to, as everybody else is waiting to see what's next, one player is already running and the middle ball sees that and he just passes it. So go, grabs the ball, looks up, Boom, doesn't even hesitate. All right, uh, LaMelo, cross, cross. Whew. Because LaMelo is such a great scorer, he brings an extra defender on him. And he saw, as I think right here, because his head is tilted this way, he's able to see with his peripheral that the man is coming and that the defender is so close to him that he, he can easily bring his arm right around his back and do a behind the back pass mid air so that defender is open. So he's gonna look like he's going for a layup, doesn't even look, and he just does the pass the whole time. Um, boom, beautiful. All right, Lamelo comes in, underhand pass. I would never do a pass like that in that situation, like how it happened. But that's why he's Lamelo Ball because he can do passes like that. He underhands it and scoops it, so the ball comes in. And as I'm right here, he noticed that Miles, if the basket's right here, Miles is right here. His defender is right behind him. So if he extends his hands out, it's like a dime, like an easy pass. Just let that ball come in. And Lamelo scoops it. It rolls in, it's coming this way, and it just lands right in his hand. Or he might have reached for it, but it's still a great pass. Grabs it, he looked full court, he looked down the court the whole time to see who was open. Does an amazing pass right there. Looks up the court, underhand. Look at how it's spinning down. Just grabs it, gun. Where's Lamella? All right, running down the court. Looks left, boom. Guess his defender. So Lamella grabs the ball right here. Look how he's gonna look left to see Miles. And he's going to look right to the basket for a layup to, to make sure that defender that's right there thinks he's going to go for a layup. He's going to dribble and he's not going to stop his dribble and he's going to pass it behind his back like that without ever stopping his dribble. And that's going to allow for the defender to keep running with him. So it seems like he's going to go for a layup. Magic, this is Magic Johnson Showtime right here. This is the stuff I'm talking about. This is some hardcore passing. This is not easy to do, especially in the NBA level. But because he's able to run and just pass it behind his back, uh, it allows for Miles to get a, a great layup. So good looks, looks back. Boom, and look at the finish. Look at how he's not even looking at him until he passes it. All right, boom, boom, boom. That's the holdout from layup. So LaMelo Ball is gonna drive in and he's gonna be defender. As he drives in, he goes up. So go up for a layup. You hold it right here down low and now you have an option. You can go left or you can go right. So hold option, he sees that the defender's right here. So far, the defender is just jumping right here. I think he jumps or he's either hold he's holding his position wherever he's at. Instead of going straight for a right, the defender can easily come like this. So because he holds the option, the defender is reading what he's doing and it's too late. And he just, Lamelo does the right read and goes back up with the same way instead of going to the other left. So let's see, goes in, drives in, hold the option, too far, easy. Looks behind, look at how he looks behind. I Beautiful, remember. First option, secure the ball, 
Second is to see your surroundings. He looks right behind him real quick and then starts dribbling. Look behind, dribbles, and now there's two defenders. Uh, three defenders, but we're going to talk about the two defenders first. One is closest to Gordon Hayward, and one is defending him right here, and he has the other one right here. He's not going to worry about this one right now. This is not his worries. He's worried about the one right in front of him and the one that's guarding Gordon Hayward. So Gordon Hayward is automatically eliminated from being an open, open pass compared to Miles, who's on the left. So Lamelo's going to drive, drive, and once again, he's not going to stop his dribble, and he's in a behind the back pass. And this is gonna allow for Miles to get an open layup. And this this is amazing because the defender doesn't know what he's gonna do. He's still reading it. But by the time, like I said, the offensive player is the one who makes the first move, so the defender always makes the second move. So you should always be one step ahead of your defender. So dribble, dribble, pass behind the back, and it's too late for the defender to even make a reaction because it's too fast. Look at that, open layup. Doesn't even look at him. He's not even looking at him because he's already seen him once and just keeps going. Where's Lamelo? Lamelo's off far. Uh, takes the shot, 360. Perfect. And finishes. So, like I said, Lamelo is such a great shooter, and they know this. So, because when you're a great shooter, defenders are always gonna run at you, always gonna go for the shot, the swat. So maybe the defender probably thinks he doesn't see him. So uh, the defender's gonna run and try to swat him the whole time. So his momentum's going. So Lamelo ball is smart enough, and he sees him. He goes up for a shot, fakes it, and then. He knows where he's at on the court. Look at how he's in the side of the three-point line and right at that of bounds. He stays on one foot and twists on that one foot so he doesn't move anywhere else. So he doesn't have to guess where he's at. He knows his foot then bounds and so he goes on his tippy toes, 360s, bounces one time, gathers himself and goes up for the open shot. Boom, boom, boom. Good. This is a rookie. Perfect, right here. The middle ball is going to drive in. And he's gonna go in between his legs and he's gonna get the defender right behind him for an open shot but in order for him to get an open shot once Lamelo passes he has to drive his whole body into the defender right in front of him so that that person doesn't have to deal with anything that that defender has to do so you pass and then run right into the defender for that person to get an open shot boom hits him in the back open shot for the guy you see that look up look at the court full court pass See, reading, he's reading the whole time. As soon as you get the ball, read. Where's Lamelo? Lamelo at the top, boom. Triple threat, one more time. Does a hand switch. All right, watch this, boom. Gets the ball. Honestly, that wouldn't have been a bad pass. Re look at how there's two defenders on the bottom. But the defender is leaning to the left. So he, Lamelo reads that he read that that defender was already going to go that way. So he fakes the pass, causing the causing Lamelo's defender to want to block it. So that's a triple threat fake pass, and now he's in a drive. And when he drives, once again, he's in a go up with the right. So the defender goes up, and he already knows he's in a switch once the defender goes and he's in a, when the defender goes up, and he's in a switch to his left. He knows that whenever you play basketball, you know if you go up, they're gonna go up. So you wanna you wanna have it in your mind already that you're gonna go up and then switch, so the defender doesn't can't able to grab this one. So pass, go, drive, right, boom, left. All right, let's see, off the pick, perfect. He sees the screen's coming, so he goes off the screen. He sees that the defender is too far and he's dribbling, he's running, so he's striding, and he strides on the left and goes up for a floater because he doesn't want to go right to the defender. He knows he has that shot, so he can do that easily. So off the pick, goes, boom, floater off one leg. One leg. All right, right here, perfect. So Lamelo Boss sees that the screen is coming and the defender read that the screen is coming. So the defender jumps to the left, so the, so when Lamelo goes off the screen, he can stop him. But Lamelo Ball reads that, and instead of going for the screen, he goes away from the screen, and he gets an open lane. Not really an open lane, because that defender is there. But that's a tough pot, that's a good tough shot. This is just a fucking... All right, so he does the triple threat right here. Perfect triple threat. Pumps and dribbles, but he dribbled right into the defender. And his left hand is far out from the, the defender's right here. So his hand is open for the dribble. So he does a, a, what I like to call to be like water, where he hits and he goes with the motion so he 360s off of him. So instead of dri keep dribbling straight or just backing up, he goes with the motion where the defender's kind of, he's angled and he hits him and he, he just 360s off of him. Goes around, I don't know how he reads that someone's coming from the baseline and he just 
comes around and passes a beautiful skull. Boom, boom, fake. Uh, 360. And just does a great pass. Alright, another perfect example of the triple threat. Right here. Grabs the ball. He sees that the defender is coming. So he shoots. But the defender stops for some reason. Because, oh, he's, he the defender read that he's not shooting. So then he's in a fake drive. Causing the defender to go poop. And then he has the open shot. Boom, boom. Ah. Beautiful. Off the screen. Uses his body. That's a tough shot. That's a tough shot. So right here, LaMelo Ball is going to do the opponent control layup. Where the opponent's right behind him. So he, he hits him. He's controlling him right here with his hand. So he doesn't get in front of him. And he's able to, as soon as he controls him, he pushes his off. So because you push off, you have the first lead already. And then he just does a, he does a tough shot. So go, boom, control, control, boom. Accelerates off. Goes up for the open layup. I want to show you a play that I personally love from LaMelo that I cannot get out of my mind. So this is not from the same video we saw, but I want to show you this lit, this pass so bad because I've tried to do it myself and I have such a hard time doing this that it's giving me a goal to practice. Lamella Ball is going to grab it and he's going to dribble and the, he's so far to the right and the defender's to the left that he's able to throw it underhand, spin it, and the ball spins so perfectly into the defender, into the offensive hand. Just watch. Boom. Grabs it, runs, runs. Look at the spin. Boom. Hands down for me, I think everybody, every point guard should be studying LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball, to me, is a great role model to be a great player for any type of basketball game. LaMelo Ball will be the future of the NBA. I really believe so.